one good evening from Hobart. The last couple of weeks we had a fantastic time in Sydney and so we are back in Hobart. It is dark and cold. And welcome to our channel. As you can see, we are in festive mode in Hobart as well. So finally we have sat down and we are just waiting for our dear milk ice cream. Oh, look at this dear head. <laughs> And this is the ice cream. This is our winter festival. We still have this winter fest to enjoy. And this is called Witch's Mouth. It's not up to everyone's taste, but we love it here. So in this evening, our plan is to walk around this winter feast. They are offering extraordinary food here at this winter feast. And this is barbecue time. And look at this cooking. They are doing live barbecues. So we just recorded a fantastic group, Sea Santis. So they were just magnificent. So come and join us and enjoy this extraordinary winter fest with us. Finally, we're entering winter fest 2024. Look at the atmosphere, all these fireworks and these red lights illuminating the whole atmosphere. So this is the same area where we had the Tasmanian test of summer in December, January. And so this is Prince's Wharf and this is the festival site in Hobart. It is very cold today and very dark but it is a beautiful time in Hobart as well. We always enjoy dark mofo although we don't have the full-fledged dark mofo this year but it is going to be a fantastic walking tour of this winter feast which is always one of the main attraction in dark mofo. Look at the atmosphere it is very very dark and red, keeping the theme of dark mofo intact. A lot of people are enjoying extraordinary food and the seating arrangements are exactly the same as every year. So it is pretty extraordinary time in Hobart and today is Sunday so they have a public day and so it is a free entry to this winter feast. So basically it is jam packed, reminding us the time in Vivid Sydney last weekend when we were nearly stamped. Look at our background and the lighting here inside this winter fest. We are completely red and the whole ambience is completely dark and red and beautiful. I'm red as well. <laughs> Arunima are actually wearing red but with the light I am also red. We, we have no other color. It's the same color for everyone is red. And there are fantastic music being played an orchestra playing fantastic classical music and look at the background it is just extraordinary isn't it a fantastic classical music and orchestra is being played here at the moment and look at the ambience the atmosphere is just electric we need to follow very slowly and take some videos of all these extraordinary stores offering different drinks, locally produced drinks in Tasmania and also different kind of food. People are really enjoying all this warm environment at the moment. More Brew is very famous here locally. They produce quite good beers and other drinks. So they are offering some ice cream or? With Nutella, yes. Yeah. Okay, ice cream with Nutella, okay. We have to follow very slowly and we have a beautiful statue. I think it's marking the dark mofo concept here. What a wonderful time in Hobart. The whole hall, this Princess Wharf is visible and this lighting is changing. So it is always changes from red to purple and goes back to red. And it is always wonderful. We are now going to the other half of this hall and uh, as you can see it's really extremely busy. 
in Sunday evening because it's a free entry and also it is Sunday. We always have this tradition on the left hand side once you enter. All the wine and beer stores are on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have all the food stores. This is a fantastic electric atmosphere. The winter feast is always very very enjoyable in Hobart. Because it's winter and it's very dark and cold, Hobart is extremely cold now at the moment. Obviously with this dark mofo and winter feast, they're always making this winter time extremely warm and enjoyable. I always enjoy these candles on these tables. They're really nice. They look pretty and extraordinary, very authentic, very winter time and almost like a Christmas time actually here at the moment, I would say. Because in Australia, we always get summer Christmas. So winter time, we always need some sort of festival. We have our favorite canopy ice cream, although I'm not sure we are going to try canopy ice cream this evening. Anyway, they're always there and they're always good. And this is called Witch's Mouth. Look at my background and so many people are here at the moment in this Princess Wharf enjoying Winter Feast 2024. And this is just a fantastic decoration, isn't it? It's always mesmerizing and winter time, very dark, color changing. It is just fantastic time in Hobart. So if you haven't visited Hobart this time of the year, in the winter time please come and visit Hobart it is always enjoyable so we came to the other side of this setup at the moment this winter fest and decoration of this side is decorated with big crosses crosses are a very important aspect of this festival and I remember a few years back we had one upside down big cross that was a bit controversial but that was one of the big theme for dark mofo so this side is offering lots of different food and obviously I think drink as well. So let's see what's on offer. Chicken dumplings. So these guys are selling different chicken dumplings. Extremely busy, extremely busy. And we have a cake shop and donut shop here selling beautiful donuts. There was a shop for Korean chicken, but it is just so crowded and look at the decorations. I mean, this is really nice. And Spice on Wheels have a shop this year as well. I think this is their first time and we always enjoy food at Spice on Wheel. They're in Newtown. And we have a Waffle Day store. They are very beautiful waffles and they have a dragon orientation, dragon decoration as well on this waffle store. Uh, we're just uh, getting this egg puff and uh, they are very delicious and they're going to give it in a cup and uh, with chocolate sauce. Just beside the waffle store, we have a pasta pizza corner. A lot of freshly made pastas and pizzas are getting sold. Look at this pizzeria. It's busy and extremely fresh looking pastas and pizzas they're selling. How is the waffle? It's nice. It's filled with chocolate. I think if you remember, we tried this in Taiwan and Hong Kong as well. And Singapore as well. No, Singapore as well, yeah. This is such a vibrant environment at the moment and so we're having a wonderful time. And look at this whole environment once again. What a wonderful sight is this. Decoration is electric and so beautiful. Change of this color from red to purple is always gorgeous. So wonderful. Someone is giving her a free champagne. And a lot of people are just queuing here, trying free champagne. This shop is selling mortadella. They're basically ham sandwich. They're making fresh ham sandwich. And I'm really impressed with this decoration. Look at this decoration. It's just so nice. It's almost Christmas time, isn't it? And so this is, oh, it's a skeleton. Wow. So they're they're decorating their store in the vibe of dark mofo. Okay. Embrace the darkness. And this store is offering some boss cheesecakes. I'm really impressed and very, very excited with these decorations. And look at these boss cheesecakes. They're really looking authentic and delicious. These guys are selling Ethiopian food. So we have 
bit of multicultural food on offer as well. This is a traditional Ethiopian bread called indera and they are offering all these curries and vegetables on this particular bread. This is always good, always delicious. Almost like a very flat bread, like chapati, but much softer. These guys are selling arancinis. Look at the size, they are really big. They are selling some cannolis as well. What a wonderful atmosphere. Atmosphere is electric here. It is pretty enjoyable as well. But look at these candles. They are very, very gorgeous, isn't it? And what about these mushrooms? They are table lamps. They are well lit mushrooms. Looking gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, extraordinary. What a wonderful sight, isn't it, Arunima? These mushrooms are really nice, isn't it? If I do a panorama of this winter feast inside of this Princess Wharf, look at the side. It is just fantastic, isn't it? Look at the decoration of this store. It's just beautiful, isn't it? And these guys are selling some bows. So um, I've got three Chinese bow. Um, one is beef and the pork and uh, this is the mixed vegetables one and we're going to try that and enjoy the bows are delicious and uh, we're having live music here and they're still playing the music orchestra and look at the people it is really nice we are really enjoying this atmosphere and uh, look at the gathering in our background so many people and all these fireworks are glowing and uh, we just recorded a fantastic group sea shanties so they were just magnificent And they actually illuminated our video as well. So we are going to keep that, some part of that in our video. And look at the gathering. It's just extraordinary electric atmosphere, isn't it? I'm just standing on one of the wooden deck. And to give you perspective, look at this gathering. And so many people are here enjoying this extraordinary winter feast. The winter festival here in Hobart. What a wonderful sight, isn't it? stay once more must we be parted one more day only one more day the one more day oh, a lot of fantastic food stores on offer and these are the seating areas beautifully decorated and this is barbecue time and look at this cooking they're doing live barbecues a lot of skewers and sausages and they're looking delicious isn't it and these are barney grill and they're making i think yeah these are scallops they're making some marinations and then barbecuing those scallops wow this is fantastic brilliant idea these breads are looking delicious charcoal breads Look at the banh mi grills, what they're offering. The banh mi and charcoal bread. Look at this rotisserie. The whole pig is getting roasted. This store in my background, they're selling a variety of different deer meat and they're roasting the deer, the whole deer. And also they're selling deer milk ice cream. The store, the whole store is looking quite ancient and they call it heavy metal kitchen and it is really looking very authentic like 500 600 years old kitchen hunting and burning the whole deer that kind of vibe a lot of people are enjoying this meal this roasted barbecue deer and ice cream made with deer milk very very bold i guess and this is the heavy metal kitchen's uh, king area so finally we have sat down and we are just waiting for our deer milk ice cream this. Oh, look at this deer head. <laughs> and this is the ice cream. So 
So, have you tried deer milk before? No, we haven't. So, it's known to be one of the richest milks of the world. Okay. Uh, really high fat content. Right. Uh, and when Chef found that out, he thought that's going to be a perfect ingredient to make a silky rich ice cream. Yeah. Which is what we have here for you. Okay. In a shape of an apple. So, deer milk ice cream and a little sauce, which is our uh, warm blood caramel. Warm blood caramel. Blood caramel. Yeah. Okay. Dark mofo. <laughs> uh, the blood is made with roasted beetroot and pasta honey. Oh, okay. So, and the natural sweet. So the blood made with roasted beetroot? Yes. Okay. It's not deer blood. <laughs> well, no. you wish it was, but yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So we are getting very bold and uh, we are trying the deer milk ice cream. They made this deer milk ice cream and uh, the lady was nicely explaining that deer milk is one of the richest milk in the world. And so we have got this ice cream and this sauce is a caramel sauce. It looks like real blood, but it's actually made with roasted beetroot and honey. So it's going to be delicious, but look at this ice cream. This is just extraordinary. And uh, I think it looks like that we are drinking blood and something in the blood that floating. So let's try that. It's a bit hard. Ice cream is very nice, very rich. And the whole blood sauce tastes like beetroot and honey as well. It is beetroot. So it is beetroot. But the ice cream is ice cream is ice cream is very very nice. These guys are just making something very very special, very very contextual with this dark mofo. With look at these settings. These are the skulls of a deer, and they're serving this ice cream with his skull orientation how wonderful and weird that is this year we have a fantastic initiative we have Tasmanian Aboriginal Food Center here and they have a store here uh, offering and uh, probably educating as well about the Aboriginal food the original kitchen that used to be Aboriginal people's kitchen here in Tasmania probably for last 40,000 years the red lighting making the whole atmosphere very very authentic uh, dark mofo theme and vibe very blood dark reddish and all these extraordinary food stores they are just phenomenal and we are really loving this walking tour and look at these bubbles they are looking very artistic they are continuously going to the sky and, uh, and look at these barbecues they are just authentic and very very nice i always love taking videos of barn coal and barbecues yes it's about it so finally we have arrived at the end of this portion of this whole festival site and uh, these fireworks are just glowing continuously we have been enjoying this atmosphere for a while but every time it is special and it's never bored us and it's just so pretty, so authentic in Tasmania. The context is so vibrant that we always enjoy this uh, winter fest. We have live music on offer as well on the left hand side. This whole sitting area is made with wooden logs. As you can see, wood logs and uh, on this open pit fire, people are enjoying live music. Fantastic environment. Have a look at this environment. You search for a reason to love the person that's you find the fury in the What a beautiful settings this is.
I hope you guys like this video. I mean, obviously, it is a bit challenging. Sometimes people find dark mofo uh, is very paganish and very pagan, and it's not for everyone's taste. But we love this atmosphere in Hobart. And look at this structure. When we're coming in, there were two guys standing up and they were playing some different kind of instruments. Uh, that we don't know the name of but uh, the sound was quite deep and vibrant and it was filling the air and the whole atmosphere of this uh, festival site and uh, the highlight obviously I targeted that I'm going to try the deer milk ice cream with that blood sauce and I was hoping it will be real blood, but it's not real blood. It's made with beetroot and honey, Tasmanian honey. So that was pretty delicious and it was very rich because deer milk is one of the intense, very heavy milk in the world. And overall, we love this uh, atmosphere. We are missing Dark Mofo 2024 because all those installations I love taking videos. Hopefully they will come back next year. Thank you very much for watching our video and this mini food vlog that we just made this evening in dark, cold Hobart evening. Goodbye until the next video. Just before we are leaving and then we saw that there is a procession and I don't know what that combination was, very weird, but it was very wonderful as well. They were like from different countries and different religion. They were just wildly dancing <laughs> and that was, there was a, like a taiko drum and then there was some Japanese uh, ladies dancing and I could see some characters uh, very close to Indian religion, Hindu religion and so that Balinese, I think. Balinese as well and there was like a it's like a weird combination but that's the beauty of the dark book festival in Hobart it's not up to everyone's taste but we love it here there is a procession coming I think it's like a big procession